There are times where it's helpful to know how to solder your own lead wire to LED tape. First, we'll show how to do this with dry location rated tape, and then we'll show how to do this with wet location rated tape. Part one, how to solder lead wire to dry location tape light. LED tape light connectors can be used with tape light in a variety of alloy LEDs aluminum channel profiles. Alloy LED offers several low profile channels that are very sleek and narrow. Examples of this include our extremely small Surfa 3 channel. Due to this channel's small size, the LED connector will not fit inside as the connector is slightly too wide. In this case, you can use the factory soldered lead wire on either end of your tape light spool, utilize alloy LED customization services, where we will cut the tape to length and solder a lead wire for you. This is the recommended approach. Or you can solder your own lead. To solder your own lead, you will need a soldering iron, solder spool, wire strippers, heat shrink, heat gun, a section of lead wire, and scissors. Carefully cut the tape along the dedicated cut points that have this symbol printed between the pairs of contacts. Now trim your lead wire to the desired length and strip the ends. Add just a little bit of solder along the exposed wires on your lead wire. This is called tinning. Also, add a little bit of solder to each of the contacts on the tape light. Solder the lead wire to the contacts, making sure that the black wire is soldered to the negative contact and the red wire is soldered to the positive contact. These are marked by a small plus and minus symbol on the tape light. Finally, take a short cutting of heat shrink and use a heat gun to cover the contact points. Part two, how to solder lead wire to wet location tape light. Each spool of wet location tape has one foot long lead wire on either end with a female wet location DC plug. This gives you two factory sealed lead wires. After you cut the tape light into two sections by measuring from each end of the spool, you can simply cap off the end of each run with an end cap, which is included with your spool of wet location tape light. But sometimes you may need to cut shorter pieces of tape light, which leave you without any factory lead on certain sections. In addition to the tools we've already outlined earlier in the video, you'll need a utility knife, a section of wet location rated lead wire, a tube of liquid silicone, and an open and closed wet location tape light end cap. These are included with your spool. Carefully cut the tape along the dedicated cut points. Wet location tape light has a silicone coating to protect it from the elements. Remove a small section of the silicone to expose the contacts or solder pads. Now trim your lead wire to the desired length and strip the ends. Add just a little bit of solder along the exposed wires on your lead wire. Also add a little bit of solder to each of the contacts on the tape light. Make sure you have removed any debris or leftover silicone from the contacts first. Pre-thread the open end cap on the lead wire. Then solder the lead wire to the contacts, making sure that the black wire is soldered to the negative contact and the red wire is soldered to the positive contact. These are marked by a small 
positive and negative symbol on the tape light. Now you can add some liquid silicone to the inside of the open end cap and slide it over the end of the tape light to create a nice seal. Finally, put some liquid silicone in a closed wet location end cap and place it on the end of the tape light to seal the opposite end. Alloy LED offers in-house customization services to provide a professional and warrantied solder connection to your tape light. Feel free to send us your project specifications and we'll cut wet location rated tape light to length and add lead wire of your specified length at our facility.